Yoga for strength extends beyond the physical body. It also embodies emotional and mental strength. Namaste, I'm Archana. Welcome to today's session. This practice is designed to engage the muscles of our whole body, building strength and resilience both in body and mind. So we're going to sit in a comfortable seated position, keeping our back straight. If you need to, just wiggle side to side to lengthen your spine, raise your shoulders towards your ears, drop it down. Palms come to rest on your thigh and now close your eyes. Stay here, observing the air moving in and out through your nose. On your next breath, you're going to exhale through your mouth, letting your whole body soften. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to soften. Observe the rise and fall of your chest. Observe the movement happening in your abdomen. One more breath in. Completely breathe out through your nose. All through your practice, you're going to use your breath as an anchor whenever the pose gets challenging. Inhale. As you exhale, you can open your eyes with a few blinks. Drop your chin to your chest. Now start drawing small circles in the air with the tip of your nose. Your choice, you can keep your eyes closed or a soft gaze. We're going to do, excuse me, we're going to do three clockwise, three anti-clockwise. And one. The other side. Three. Two. And one. Arms stretch out to the side, turn your palms towards the ceiling, bring your fingers on your shoulders, now circles with your elbow, three clockwise again, opening your chest, two, and three, anti-clockwise, three, simply keep breathing in and out, we are not going to hold our breath at any time, and one. Drop your hands down, raise your shoulders towards your ears, let your neck disappear. Now as you breathe out completely through your mouth, drop your shoulders down and your shoulders stay there. Now bring your palms on uh, to your forehead. Press your palm into your forehead, your forehead into your palm. Three, two and one. There is no movement happening. There is equal and oppo opposite forces. You can inhale, press and release. Interlace your fingers, hands behind your head, elbows open out. You can use your thumbs to rest along the sides of your neck. Eyes stay closed. Press your palms forward and head back. Again, press and hold. Three, two, one and release. Release your hands out, drop it down. Now bring your palms towards your cheek. Press three, two, one. Notice there's no movement. This is a very good practice if you want to strengthen your neck and if you have any uh, neck issues like cervical spondylosis, this is a good practice to do. We're just focusing on isometrically contracting the neck, keep breathing in and out. Two on the other side, press, and release once more. See that you're not squeezing your eyes shut. Keep breathing in easily in and out. Two and one, release. Bring both your hands forward. Arms parallel to the earth. See if you can bring it closer. Palms touch each other. And if you can, touch your elbows. Press and hold. Three, 
two, and one. Release. Again, press and hold. Breathe in. I'm not bringing my elbows down. It's nice and straight here. This is how it's going to look. Here. Three. Two. And one. Release. Last one. Press and hold. Three. Two. And one. Drop your hands down. You're going to feel this. Very simple. Very effective. Drop your hands down. Raise your shoulders towards your ears. Drop and roll. Again, two. And three. Opposite. Three. Two. And one. Now change legs. Here you can just bring the other leg in front. Reach your hands all the way up. Interlace your fingers. Stretch. As you breathe out, pull down. Drop your chin towards your chest. Seated cat and cow. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Soften. A full deep breath in. As you extend. Completely exhale. Drop your chin towards your chest. Stretch and hold. Last one. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down. Release. Swing your legs to one side. Press your palms into the mat. Engage your toes. Knees come off. Stretch and hold. Bend your right knee, straighten the left. Again, five of this on each side, just stretching your calf. Four, you can look to the top, end of your mat, and then look at your toes. Last one. Stay here, breathe in. Completely breathe out. Raise both your heels up. Pull that navel in. Come into your high plank. Again, back. Drop it down. So we're going to add to this. Okay. Raise, raise your heels. Pull the navel in. Pull your rib cage in. Uh, and forward. You're creating like this hood in your back. Pressing your palms into the mat, opening your shoulder. Now, elbows close to your body. Option one, you can bend and go down into your low plank. Right? Again, engage your toes. Lift, come to plank, go back. The other way you can go down is drop your knees elbows close to your body and down. You can either chest up or towards the mat. Inhale, come up. You choose what works for you. Plank and downward dog. Breathe in. Completely breathe out. We're going to do two more of this. Raise both your heels. High plank. Press into the earth, elbows close to your body. Either drop your knees, chest goes down. Mudva Mukha, upward dog. Press your toes, plank and down. Raise, come all the way up, drop your knees, get into Ashtanga. Urdhva Mukha. Adhomukh. Stay here. Breathe in. Completely breathe out. Now step your right leg between your palms. Adjust your back leg. Vira Vadrasana. Inhale. Come all the way up. Hold. Breath in. Completely breathe out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now take your right hand. 
wrap it behind your waist reach your left hand up reverse warrior 2 and 1 release adjust your leg see that your shoulders are stacked over your hip hand stretched out breathe in completely breathe out can inhale and exhale hands come up drop your hands towards the mat left leg off hold and stretch adjust 2 and 1 drop your hands down legs back high plank you can repeat this on the other side elbows close to your body slowly lower your knees and chest onto the mat inhale urdhva mukha shvanasana aur bhujangasana adho mukha shvanasana breathe in breathe out now left leg between your palms adjust your back leg inhale come all the way up virabhadrasana 2 and 1 now from here left hand behind your waist right hand up and look up and 1 release palms face the earth or the ceiling it's completely up to you vira patrasana to inhale and exhale once more breath in breath out hands come up drop down adjust your leg if you have to and here if this is hard you can simply stay here remember one thing you don't have to do the full expression of the pose today eventually the intention is to get there two and one drop it down step back breathe in completely breathe out you need to open your legs wide drop your knees big toes to touch sit back and stretch in shashakasana breathing in again breath out stay here for as long as you want to and back again just getting your breath back into a comfortable rhythm bring both your knees together arch your back and stretching breathe in and as you breathe out pull that navel in and round press your toes into the mat come all the way back breathe in and breathe out now from here you're going to go back and repeat the same thing that we did before or you can challenge yourself a little just to find what is your edge raise your heels all the way right leg up towards the ceiling bend the knee bring it to your right elbow towards the right wrist left wrist pull it all the way up back to right you closing a box there and reach up you can keep your feet flat or raise step between your palms inhale all the way up virabhadrasana exhale this time you're going to bring your left hand along your right thigh as you try to reach and bend breathe in completely breathe out release back to your warrior 2 from here press your palms on the mat reach and stretch or 
keep it open three two and one release bring it on the inside walk your legs slightly out and come into your Prishthasana lizard pose breathe in completely breathe out three two and one press your toes into the mat raise bring both your legs shake your legs out back again raise both your heels left leg up towards the ceiling bring it towards your left elbow left wrist we're not touching the mat right wrist right elbow close the box left elbow kick it all the way back your breath can get choppy here breath in completely exhale through your mouth step between your palms adjust your back leg inhale virabhadrasana breathe in breathe out taking deep full breaths in and out once more inhale getting a lot of oxygen flowing into those muscles now right hand around your waist you're trying to hold on to your thigh arch reverse warrior two and one release warrior two breath in turn and look towards your left fingertips drop your hand down open and stretch two and one or stretch it all the way out two you can bring your gaze look at your fingertips and one drop your hand down move your legs to the outside drop into your lizard breathe in completely breathe out one more if you need to widen your legs you can also want to go deeper into the stretch get it out of your mat and one press into the mat release shake your legs out stretch and hold raise both your heels pull the navel in create that hood like in your back high plank drop your knees hips over your knees if you need to adjust adjust hover one two and three release open your legs wide drop your right elbow drop your left elbow if you can bring the crown of your head towards the mat stay here chin towards your belly excuse me chin towards your chest gaze at your belly and one release from here raise both your heels palms are like glued to the mat drop your heels towards the right side your ears cross your arms chin towards your chest nice twist there two one raise back drop at the other side two and one back to center now drop your heels to the right please your left hand up hold 3 2 and 1 back again the other side very wobbly arms 3 2 and 1 release drop your knees nice and wide big toes to touch stretch back in child pose 
Bring your palms to rest on your heel or next to your feet. Forehead on the mat. Breathe in. Completely breathe out. Cross at your ankle. Come up. Swing your legs forward. Place your heels either close to you or away. It depends on the closer it is, more intense. But if you want to keep your feet down, so see if you can bring it closer. Hands come to rest on your knees. Lean back. Straighten your elbows. So stay here. If you notice, your abdomen is engaged. Go as far behind as you can, but you're not letting your back sag. Pull everything in, hold. We're going to stay here for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Stay with me, but if it is too much, you can always come back and go for the next five counts again. Five. See that your back is not sagging. Pull it in. Four. If you touch your belly, you should feel it really nice and taut. Three. I'm not hanging onto my knees. My hands are just resting. And one. Release. The soles of your feet come to touch. You don't have to bring it really close to your center. Lean forward, chin to chest, forehead in the direction of your toes. As you breathe in, bring all your awareness to your abdomen. Completely breathe out. Once again, breath in. Completely exhale. If you can, bring your forehead onto your feet and stretched out. Two and one. Two knees. Come back. Bring both your knees together. Hips towards your heel. Hug your knees towards your chest. You can rock forward and back. Three. Two. A nice massage for your back. And one. Hold back. Hug your knees towards your chest. Breathe in. And one. Straighten your left leg. Right leg up towards the ceiling. You can grab your toes or your ankles. Any part that you can hold on to. Hold, stretch. See that the important thing is your left heel is touching into the mat. Not locking your knee, just hold. And if you can bring your forehead towards your knee. Three, two, and one. Release. Bend that knee. Straighten it out. Get your left leg up. Again, hold and come forward. Notice if one side feels different than the other. Two. And one. Bend your knee, drop it down. Raise both your legs up towards the ceiling. Arms like the letter T. Drop it towards your right. Chattara Parivartanasana. Stretch and look towards your left fingertips. One key thing to remember is that both your shoulders or your upper back should be resting on the mat. And one. Try to keep it really nice and high and not away here. Keep toes in line with your navel. Bend your knees back again. As always, the wall is there next to me, so I'm going to bend my knee. And twist. Two. And one. Come back to center. Hug both your knees towards your chest. And 
now very slowly release your legs to either side of the mat your arms come to rest next to you close your eyes stay here taking this moment to pause celebrate the fact that you showed up for your practice today breathe in exhale through your mouth letting your whole body sink into the mat this time as you breathe in just noticing your abdomen move the direction of the ceiling as you breathe out we'll chant one round of om noticing the vibrations all through our body om thank you so much for doing this practice with me if you have any questions or queries regards to this practice or anything yoga write to me in the comments below if you're new here remember to subscribe to my channel that would help support my channel and if you think this video is helpful to somebody you know please share namaste